Hello guys, we are back with another Shopify custom section series. This will be the second section we'll develop in Shopify. The first video we worked on is the collection slider. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. The link is in the description down below. This section will be the custom key feature section. This section is specifically for those who want to highlight important features of their website to the customers. And if you have a Shopify store or you are a developer, you can easily follow along and replicate the exact section in your website. Now, who can use this section? Anyone who is offering a product or a service on their website can implement it. If you want to replicate it effectively, do not skip the video and watch till the end. Hi guys, my name is Praful and you are watching Gadgetzilla. So let's get started. First, let me take you to the screen and show you how it's gonna look on your website. You can check this on my official website ramaradiance.com. Here I have placed this section on a products page where it is showing quality assurance, easy return and exchange and free gift wrapping, the offerings that I am giving to my customers. Then the customization option, let me show you that as well. We'll go to the admin panel. We'll open our customizer. And on the bottom, we'll search for the name of that section that is key feature section. It is successfully added. Now let me show you the options we have. We can add only four features in that because we have to highlight only the important highlights in this particular section. So one, two, three and four. Now you can't add any more than that. Uh, on the first one, we'll select icon. Then we'll select the highlight that is gift wrapping. And you can add subheading as well. Let me show you. This is a subheading. And it is popped out. Uh, we'll update later on. Uh, we'll first check the options we have for customization. We'll click on key feature over here. Here we got the option of section background color. So we can change the background color of this section. Uh, let me put it a little grayish background. Then we can change the font color as well. So basically the heading and the subheadings color will make it something different. So we kept it as red. We can also change the font size. That is basically the heading size and the subheading size by increasing this value. See, this is the maximum we can get. Now the icon size. So if we want to increase this icon size we can increase it maximum to 80 pixels and the top margin and bottom margin is basically the gap between this and this particular section let me increase it so it will look like this i will show you also its view on mobile so if you look in the mobile view it's gonna look like this I know it's not that good right now because we haven't added all these options. But let me show you on my page. So here it is. You can check out. This is how it's going to look after all the customizations. So let's start coding. We'll freshly install Dawn theme as we do in every video. If you don't know how to install it, scroll down. Uh, in under the popular free theme section, click on Dawn and add. It will pop out over here. And once it's published, we can customize this. Now the theme is successfully installed and we'll open one tab for customizer and the another for code editing. We go to our editor. We'll look at the files that Shopify provide to run a theme successfully. So these all are the folders that contain all the files. We have to work on section. So we'll open the section folder. Click on add a new section. You have to remember to select it as liquid. We don't want a JSON file. We'll keep it the name as custom key feature. You can name it anything you want. But to avoid any confusion, you can use exactly the same name. But it's totally your choice. 
and the file is created as you can see over here it's dot liquid this is the default template Shopify provide keep it over here and copy paste the code we have you will find the files in the description below you just copy the code and paste it over here first we'll add the HTML code that is basically the body of our section HTML is successfully added now we'll add our CSS code which is basically how it looks on the website is designed over here so uh, under the div section we'll paste our styling code as it is successfully pasted we'll save it and here it is we didn't get any error now we'll check on our customizer refresh it and click on add and search for key feature it is not popped out because the schema is blank so I'm gonna show you how to customize a schema so you can code along with me it will be easy for you to understand why we have added particular section to customize it and what we can do further so in our code editor we'll scroll down to the bottom and the code we didn't delete it need to be modified we have to modify this section name this is the name that we get over the customizer panel so we can keep whatever the name we want but we are gonna keep it as custom key features then we'll add an important property that is a block as I said we can add only four options this is because I have customized it over here only so if I keep it as five we can add five options if I have added four we can add four options so we'll keep it as four over here then in the settings we'll add some important features now under the setting you have to copy the first block that is basically to change the background color of the section so just copy the code from the file this is basically used to change the color the default color is white we'll add the second property that is for changing the color of our font so we'll paste it from the source code here you can see the font color that we wanted and the label we kept over here you can change it as well over here we have set black color as default this is the hex value if you are not a developer you might not be able to understand all this but you just can copy paste and do not forget to replicate it as the way I am doing else you will get errors the next two properties is specifically for the size of heading and subheading so we'll paste it together here the heading size and subheading size is kept below that we'll add icon size that is how big or small the icon we wanted that is customized using this property now if we want to add top margin bottom margin we have to add those properties as well so all these properties have been added successfully and we'll try to save it now you can see there is an error why because there are few more properties that are really very important but we have not added those so let's start adding those as well we need to close it now after closing this block we'll go below this square bracket where the square bracket is closing and below that we'll copy our block section this block is saved and now it is almost done we have to add last uh, important detail we have pasted what the name we wanted to keep it we can modify it as custom key features and save it you can see now it is successfully saved we'll go back to our customizer and check whether it's working or not we'll refresh our customizer and click on add section search for custom key feature and you can see it is popped out we'll add it we have options over here to add features we'll add two of them then we'll select the icon for any one of them that is this one or this one this is basically the testing we are doing we can change whatever we want it's just a random check 
as you can see everything is getting changed so the code is perfectly implemented and thank you for watching this video if you want more videos like that do subscribe my channel if you have any doubt comment down below or talk to me in person on my instagram channel